when it comes to EMF protection, there are two key rules. And the first is to minimize your use of this technology. And the second is to maximize the distance between your body and the technology when it is in use. So you need to be identifying the places in your life you are willing to make these trade-offs. One example that I do advocate against is uh, Bluetooth headphones. You are safer. shaming me right now. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how long? Do you know, I didn't even I'm, like, notice. I'm sorry. I'm having this conversation so... and I'm like, do you know how long I fought having wireless earbuds? I forever was like, I'm not getting them. And then I ended up with a pair and I love them. But I do try to minimize them, but I Good. know I'm like, Oh man, I need to go back to my Well, this to is an example of what I'm, I'm but... saying, right? You have to make these choices for your own lifestyle. Um, yeah. And I do know people who care about their EMF exposure who still use AirPods uh, for their workouts. But keep in mind, Bluetooth is basically the same type of radiation as Wi-Fi, but you're putting it right there up against your brain at a part of your head where there's no natural shielding, right? That's an example I would say, do not get your kids Bluetooth headsets 